this episode of Lifeline, we're going to take a look at the Imminent Threat Solutions Fat Boy Med Pouch and their med bag uh, basic contents uh, that they have here. So they actually call it their ITS Med 001 Basic. This is available at dstactical.com. If uh, you want to pick it up, these are great guys to deal with. They're one of my favorite stores. I've been dealing with them for almost 10 years. So, most important part, we'll get into the contents of this pouch. Uh, the first thing you'll notice about this is that it is vacuum sealed. So just like your uh, freezer stuff that you get uh, at home for, for your uh, food that you want to freeze, it comes sealed up, everything is vacuum sealed, it's super fresh, nothing is going to uh, get bacteria or anything like that in here, and it also keeps it nice and compact. The only thing you're going to have to worry about is the contents of this thing expiring. Uh, I'll take a look a little later on. I'm sure there's an expiry date. I definitely noticed that there was a lot number. Um, and there's a good chance actually that the contents of this thing won't expire. Although I'm well aware that uh, some of the items do have expiry dates. But I mean, if you just write down uh, two years from the date of purchase, you'd probably be okay that way. So the first item in this pouch is combat gauze, or as they say, quick clock gauze. So the quick lock gauze is different than the original granules in that you're not going to get an embolus and you're not going to burn or cause any uh, injury to the patient. It's a long piece of gauze that has chemicals embedded in it and that's going to help uh, cause uh, clotting. So it is a hemostatic agent. It's made by quick clot. It's really good stuff. I use it at work and it comes inside this pouch. Next thing you're going to see is a field dressing. So the one that comes in this pouch is a little bit different than this one here. However, I didn't have the one that comes in the pouch. I haven't seen one in quite a while. Actually, it's the Israeli dressing. They're still very popular. Just in my line of work, I haven't seen one in quite some time. This one here is the Elias. It's what uh, my work has been using uh, more often as of late. But inside of this is a pressure, actually inside of this one is going to be a pressure dressing. Uh, it's going to be able to wrap it around. It's going to stop the bleeding if it's not over the top and you aren't using something like a tourniquet or a quick clot gauze. The next item that you're going to see here is some Z fold gauze. This one here is H and H may not be the same as what comes in this package. It does the exact same thing. This one here, all I did was just prep it for use. Um, and it's basically just a long roll of uh, compressed gauze. You're also going to get some nitrile gloves in the pack, so just like this, uh, probably size large or extra large so that it fits most people. You're going to get a chest seal. This one here is the same chest seal with valve. It just means that it's going to help prevent any tension pneumothorax from developing. Uh, this is probably not the one that comes in here because this one is absolutely huge, but uh, I'm sure you'll get something of quality in this pouch. Next item you're going to get is a roll of uh, tensor uh, bandage in the package. They're calling it elastic bandage. Uh, great for stabilizing minor to uh, more serious injuries. Uh, they're also going to include a casualty card. I imagine it's on the back side of their contents list or on the back side of their care under fire uh, label here, which is also pretty cool. So that is the contents of this. Uh, Last point, yeah, so it comes with a casualty card and it also comes with a pencil. The pou pouch itself, this is the fat boy pouch that they have. It's really good quality. It's uh, weather resistant on the outside, has some uh, bungees on the inside, as well as a spot for the contents to go itself. So right here fits in perfect. Uh, there's a little bit of space on either side to add some things. The back side, has Molly and it also has their quick release system. So here they have two uh, individual clips and then what you can do is you just pull them and they come out and then so does your pouch. What I would do is if I were the owner of the this pouch is I'd probably tie a loop to these two together so that you can grab them and it comes out all as one. Uh, so that's the pouch itself. There's two versions of this. There's the fat boy wide, and, uh, which is the wider one. And then there's the tall boy, which is a little bit taller and narrower. Uh, at the top, they put some room here for their ITS uh, med pouch uh, 
red cross and then they have a nice grab handle at the top with a little bit of red velcro so that you can see where exactly to grab from. So it's a good quality kit. I really like this thing. I got it myself at DS Tactical. Great guys, absolutely love them. I bought my rig and all my gear that I used overseas from those guys as a private way back in the day and I'm still using it now. Uh, and they've actually remembered me uh, for quite some time. So that is the ITS Tactical. Uh, ITS Med 001 basic kit. Uh, I'm not sure what's in their more advanced kits, but hopefully a tourniquet. Um, and their Fat Boy uh, Med Pouch. Great pieces of kit. If you guys like what you saw today, make sure you double tap those like and subscribe buttons. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you comment below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. I'm Ryan, and I'm out of here.